वेलकम टू साजू मैथ्यू ऑनलाइन सेफ्टी यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेडिएशन यस्टरडे वी हैव कवर्ड लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रेडिएशन ओके यस सर सो रिगार्डिंग रेडिएशन आई हैव फ्यू क्वेश्चंस प्लीज गो अहेड सो माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज रेडिएशन व्हाट इज रेडिएशन एमिशन ऑफ एनर्जी from any source emission of energy from any source is known as radiation okay yes sir thank you sir welcome so my next question is what are the various types of radiation what are the various types of radiation there are basically two types of radiations are there ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiation ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiation you know every substance are made of molecules molecules are made of atoms atoms are made of electrons protons and neutrons certain energy when it is absorbed by a substance it can displace the electrons protons and neutrons electrons protons and neutrons they are known as ion saturated correct or not so which can displace the ions so such no uh, such severe radiations are known as ionizing radiation which can destabilize the atom into ions they are known as ionizing radiation examples of ionizing radiations are x ray alpha beta gamma neutrons x ray alpha beta gamma neutrons they are known as ionizing radiation similarly other type of radiation is known as non ionizing radiation its energy is not so severe it cannot cause ionization it cannot displace the atom but it, it is also severe because they are known as non ionizing radiation examples of non ionizing radiations are ultraviolet microwave infrared laser visible ray rays laser means light amplified stimulated emission of radiation light amplified stimulated emission of radiation so non ionizing radiations are ultraviolet microwave radio wave infrared visible rays and laser is it clear yes sir. there are two types of radiation ionizing radiation and non ionizing radiations thank you sir welcome so my next question is can you give me some examples of ionizing radiation and its source yeah as i told you in the previous answer itself ionizing radiation examples are alpha beta gamma x rays and neutrons the main source of alpha particles alpha particles are being used in smoke detectors main source of ionizing radiation alpha particles are smoke detectors then beta particles are being used in the science lab for thickness gauging purpose we are using beta particles alpha particles for smoke detectors beta particles are being used in the science labs for thickness gauging then uh, alpha beta gamma gamma rays are used for industrial radiography industrial radiography then x rays are used for baggage scanning you may have seen in the airport and all baggage scanning and even for medical radiography we are using x ray alpha beta gamma x rays neutrons are used in nuclear power plants these are the main source of ionizing radiations Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. So my next question is, what are the ill health effects of exposure to ionizing radiations? Oh, very good question. Very important question. Even it is asked in high level examinations. Like uh, there are two types of effect: acute effect and chronic effect. The ill health effect of ionizing radiations are two types: acute effect and chronic effect. We know what is acute effect. It's a short term response triggered by single dose of a hazardous substance. whereas chronic effects are long term response triggered by continuous and repeated exposure to a sublethal constituent of a hazardous substance there are two types of effect acute effect and chronic effects so the acute effect of radiation exposure especially ionizing radiation exposure are radiation sickness nausea vomiting etc that is radiation sickness then another one is cataract radiation can cause you cataract also then body immunity can go down because the how the body immunity can it can damage the white blood corpuscles and body immunity can go down even it can lead to cancer also it can lead to infertility then dna structure can be damaged that is known as mutogenic effect mutogenic effects can happen 
DNA structure can be damaged. Then uh, hair losses can happen. Hair losses. So the common ill health effect of exposure to ionizing radiations are two types. Acute effect and chronic effects. See, nausea, radiation sickness such as nausea, vomiting, etc. It's an acute effect. Then hair loss, it's an acute effect. Then cataract, then skin cancer and cancer. Then mutogenic effects such as uh, like a DNA structure getting de destabilized. Then infertility, infertility. Then, then uh, long term effects of cancer. These are the common health effects associated with the ionizing radiations. Clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So, my next question is what do you mean by radon gas? Radon gas. Oh, see, uh, there are certain norms, naturally occurring radioactive material. Radon gas is a naturally occurring radioactive material or it's a gas being released from the ground automatically. It is, it's on, right? without any, it is already there in the soil. So, radon gas can cause cancer. Long term effects can, especially in the granites. Nowadays, we are making a lot of houses with the granites. Granite is dangerous actually. If the granite releases, granite deposit releases maximum radon gas. So in order to protect from radon gas, we have to ensure positive pressure inside the room, like a continuous ventilation, especially the unused rooms and all unused houses are having a lot of deposits, especially which is made of granite, maybe having presence of radon gas. So what happens? Positive pressure we have to maintain. There are certain extraction systems also available to extract out the radon gas. There are two methods are being used actually to protect from the radon gas exposure because it is cancerous. So positive gas, positive pressure need to be maintained from the, maintained in the building, especially in the compartment. So that what happen, the radon gas will be released easily. In addition to that, uh, there are certain radon gas extraction systems are there these days that can be fitted with uh, granite uh, made houses where the, which is used for the granite where it is used there you can use uh, the extraction system radon gas extraction systems can be used is it clear yes sir. okay thank you sir welcome